All right. Um, Senator Voinovich. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I thank you for holding this hearing. And uh, uh, this is the second year on appropriations, but I've been dealing with the Army Corps of Engineers budget for this is my 12th year. And uh, uh, I uh, still um, shake my head at uh, the inadequacy of this budget. It's been that way for almost ever. And um, uh, the backlog of $60 billion for unfunded core projects, uh, Corps has taken on not only the traditional projects, but now environmental restoration. And Mr. Chairman, when we've tried to figure out some priority or knock some of them off the list, we have never been successful in doing that because nobody wants their project off the, off the list. Um, I'm particularly concerned about the, about the, the Great Lakes. Uh, the, poor, the Corps put together a, a recommendation uh, several years ago uh, in terms of what should be done with the Great Lakes. And uh, the fact is that uh, they recommended some $200 million a year to uh, handle it, and the budget's always been about $100 million. So it's, it's, about, it's half of what, what's needed to get the job done. Uh, I, for years, I raised the issue of urgent needs facing the navigation system. Every year, hundreds of millions of tons of goods are transported through the lakes, uh, waterways, and communities throughout the Great Lakes are tied to this uh, travel. Uh, the Army Corps of Engineers estimates a backlog of 17 million cubic yards of dredging, dredging at commercial Great Lakes harbors and channels. This dredging backlog has been exacerbated by the historic low water levels, but the result is result, but it has resulted in a negative impact on shipping. Several freighters have gotten stuck in Great Lakes channels. Ships have had to carry reduced loads, and some ships have simply ceased altogether. Um, so we benefit from it. Um, uh, one of the things that, that I, I don't understand is that uh, despite the significant backlog of Corps' work, the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund is approximately a $4 billion surplus that is growing each year, $4 billion. And uh, as we know, the money collected from that fund is intended for a specific use, maintaining harbors and channels, yet OMB uses the surplus as cost savings. It's another one of those gizmos that you use trust funds to balance the budget. budget. So I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm very, very concerned about it. And uh, I think, uh, Secretary Darcy, you know how concerned all of us are from the Great Lakes about something that some people snicker at, but um, it's these, these Asian carp. I just want to say that if, if they get into the Great Lakes, we're talking about losing a $7 billion fishery. And as the former mayor of Cleveland and governor of Ohio, and one who's worked to restore the lakes, I call it the second battle of Lake Erie, at this stage in my life, I do not want to see that happen. Uh, th that is, uh, in addition to, to the fishery, uh, that, that lake is responsible for, for recreation and all the other things. And if it goes that direction, we lose the fishery, it's going to have an indirect effect on everything else that happens on the Great Lakes. So I hope you understand how serious we are about making sure that this doesn't happen. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Bennett. Uh-huh. <laughs>